Well, the problem is, at the moment, there's estimated to be between six and 10,000 horses in the Australian Alps, with the major concentration being in Kosciuszko National Park. They're causing a lot of erosion and other damage to the park. The main focus of my research is looking at stream bank erosion, because obviously the horses need to drink, and as they come down to the banks, uh, they're large, heavy hoofed animals, and they're collapsing the banks and causing a lot of uh, what we refer to as pugging damage, which is their footprints uh, around the edges of the rivers. I'm examining this by using uh, aerial imaging uh, via drones. So we're flying drones along uh, small watercourses and from that we can uh, acquire lots and lots of overlapping photos that we then turn into 3D computer models. By going back year after year to the same streams, we can quantify how much erosion is taking place. Well, preliminary results at this stage um, are indicating that the impacts of the horses are really focused on certain areas. It's a little bit surprising that, in fact, it's not more widespread. Some creeks are being really devastated by the impacts of horses, while others that we're looking at, despite horses being present, are actually in pretty good condition. And I think that's got something to do with the vegetation. So where horses can get access to the water, they're collapsing the banks and the rates of erosion um, at this stage, we're coming up with figures in terms of how many tonnes per decade of soil might be lost from riverbanks, but also we're looking at changes in the cross-sectional profiles of the creeks and clearly they're widening. There's a lot of sediment being deposited on the beds of the, the rivers and that's having ecological impacts. And uh, also, as I mentioned before, the pugging uh, from the horses' hooves, which are causing a lot of muddy uh, erosion. In my project's being uh, generously funded by the Australian Alps Liaison Committee. Uh, at this stage it's a three-year project. I'm looking at about 30 creeks in quite uh, fine detail. And the next big thing would be to try to scale up my results for those 30 creek sections to sub-catchment or even catchment scales to figure out how much sediment's moving through these systems because of the impacts of horses.